Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to get deeper into image manipulation and, and C++ and Python code. But before we get started I wanted to show you a good book that I've been using as background material for our tutorials. And it's this book, Computer Vision Algorithms and Applications by Richard Selisky. Mr. Selisky, uh, Professor Selisky made it uh, was kind enough to make his book uh, free uh, and you can go here and download it as an electronic draft and it's a very good book it goes into details and, and into all the what makes the algorithms and applications for computer vision and image processing and also another book uh, this one I use it for for mostly in, for my last uh, set of tutorials based on Python but I also use this book I'm using this book here for the C++ it's a very good book it's a OpenCV2 computer vision application programming cookbook and uh, it's, it's mostly based on Visual Studio mostly uh, on using um, uh, Windows but the code uh, I, uh, I've been able to to use it uh, using CMake and, and adapt it to our set of tutorials but you can go to these uh, websites and and, uh, and and take a look that's, that's good stuff but let's get started the first thing we're going to do is we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi and then is the we're inside the, the Pi and what we're going to do uh, is first thing is make a directory we're gonna call this directory tutorial 4 but we're not gonna call it tutorial 4 we're gonna call it tutorial 4a because I already uh, made a tutorial named tutorial 4 so we're gonna go in it now where I already saved some, saved, saved some stuff to, for us not to waste time and make these tutorials shorter so what I'm going to do I'm gonna copy all of this stuff here and put it into the new to, uh, file that we just created and I could do the whole thing in, uh, in one shot but I wanted to do it individually for you to, to see what I'm doing and I'm creating copy it to the tutorial the um, tutorial folder that we just created and we're going up and uh, it's called tutorial 4a okay uh, oops it's that's not the name it's, it's not name IMG pies name copy IMG JPEG So now if we go to to tutorial uh, for A, we can see that we have all, all of that stuff that we just copied, okay? So before I, I, I do anything, I'm going to show you the code. I'm gonna show you, oops, let me show you nano transpose, can't type today. Image and just for you to look at it, is I'm importing the computer to vision numpy uh, as NP. Uh, this is the main thing going on here. These are four loops, as you can see. It's one, two, and there's the if it's going on through all the rows, resizing the center of the image and the setting all the other ones set to zero and it, it gives you a choice of doing it horizontally or vertically or doing it in both directions I will explain that as, as we go and then is saving is uh, reading the image name image JPEG is decoding it 
using the computer vision two libraries and saving it into an image name variable is mapping it you, this is where numpy comes in is using the arrays from uh, from numpy as you can see here and here again in the x and in the y continue and a while loop that it keeps going until we press a key in this case key 27 okay and it will break it and then destroy all windows okay well let's run it oops what did I do control X I don't want to save anything and I'm going to transpose image and it's going to take this file right here this JPEG and transpose it okay image, not transpose it I rotate I keep saying transpose it and it's doing it and as you can see being that it's a while loop it's gonna keep going and it's gonna keep doing it it's ro rotating it horizontally because that's the one that we picked and as you can see it keeps rotating okay uh, this is the, the the one doing it this way there's another way that I, I'm gonna break the loop now uh, we're going to do a different one I'm gonna show you transpose pi this is using a little bit different from from the other one that I just show you this is regular Python I just wanted you to have a, an idea uh, of doing it different ways this is very simple just using the the pill image library the pill um, library as you can see it's importing it right here and very simple code uh, also very e efficient I'm going to show you what it does this one is going to do it vertically the first one I show you how to do it horizontally near now I'm going to show you how it does it vertically is transposing it right here flipping it from left to right okay that's why I keep saying transpose that's where it came from so let's run it transpose pi and the name of the file jpeg and this one is not going to do anything it's just gonna save it and if we check now you can see that it flipped it like he said here it added a, this extension it added this extension to the original file to this one right here png image flip okay that's what that is doing that's the out file name that's what that is doing right there and as you can see this is the one right there okay if we open genome open original JPEG and IMG flip PNG and we're going to see them open this is the original and what happened to the other one where did it go let me see if it goes through there Oh, there it is. This is the this is the original, and this is the flip version, as you can see. As you can see, this is the the flip version, and this is the original. You see the original flip version original okay and that's using uh, 
similar but different different code and now let's do it using it uh, C++ so let's break the, the code here and now we're going to let me show you the, the clear some of these stuff and what we're going to first do let me show you the, the code um, cat create image CPP and this one is going to combine both uh, it's going to combine the horizontal and it's going to combine the vertical and the way it's going to do it first is the input and the output it's going to include the input output um, include the OpenCV libraries this is where the function is created okay it's uh, on sign 8 bit and the size right here this is the main function this is all the main function and what it's doing is creating the image it's creating it printing the image print F is going to print the size of the image the height and the width it's going to read the image name image JPEG it's going to decode it using this computer vision and name it into an image variable with the name image it's going to check to make sure that is is there if not it's going to throw a, an exception it's going to print the image size after reading it's going to display the image in a window call the window called original image and it's going to show it it's going to show that window then it's going to create another image and it's going to flip it horizontally at first it's going to display the result it's going to display the result it's going to wait for a key to be pressed if that key is pressed it's going to save it into a, a file named output BMP and then it's going to create two other images and w these images is going to flip them vertically first time did it horizontally this time it's now going to do it vertically and it's going to display the result in a window name image 2 and it's going to show it this window and it's also going to uh, show another image uh, window named image 3 and it's going to show this window okay and you can also put in I didn't do this part right here but to make it the tutorial shorter but all you can also do it uh, the gray and and you can uncomment that and you can try it on your own okay and then we we'll wait for a key press and then you will do it okay so that's what it does so now the first thing we gotta do first let me clear it so you know what is here so I'm gonna do the CMake to start the compilation process okay it's done and now make executable it should be there and it's there let's check and you as you can see it was created now we're gonna run it and as you can see just like I, I explained to you it's giving you the 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 height and the width and now it's going to if I press on it as you can see here this is the original image and this is the output image but if I press here it's gonna show you the steps of how it got there how it got from here to here so all you need to do is click on it and hit return waiting for the key to be pressed and it's gonna show you the steps here it's gonna stay, show you what it looked like and what it did as you can see this is the original this is the horizontal flip and this is the vertical flip okay and this is the output and if you if we check here 
after I kill all the windows if I check again it's gonna save the output right here okay and if I now open the output it's gonna show the save output after it was flipped okay and uh, the, this did the same thing that the other two Python uh, code uh, pieces of code did individually. This is doing everything in one. And uh, I wanted to give you more or less an idea of how they both do it. And uh, so, like always, uh, this is the end of the tutorial. I'd like to tell you, if you like this tutorial, please click the like box. And if you have any questions, send me a comment, send me a, a shoot me an email. And also, uh, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.